we were to travel away from the sun, leaving the planets behind till they fade into the blackness of space, and until the sun itself is just another bright spot in the sky, we would see a thin cloud of objects enveloping the entire solar system. These are the primordial comets, billions of icy globes no more than 30 miles across. They have been here unchanged since the beginning of the solar system. Halley's Comet began its first journey around the sun thousands of years ago. When it came close to Earth in 1986, NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory developed a mission to intercept it with a spacecraft. It was an opportunity too good to be missed to investigate the best known comet of all at close range. The craft used hardware and technology from the successful Voyager mission to Jupiter and Saturn and from the Galileo mission to orbit Jupiter. It was equipped to examine the comet in detail and carried an electronic camera to produce highly detailed pictures. Other instruments, many from Voyager, were added to reveal the comet's chemistry, record its ultraviolet and infrared radiation, measure its magnetic field, and collect samples of its dust. This unique mission began in the summer of 1985, and NASA's space shuttle was used to launch the probe on its eight-month journey to Halley. Guiding the spacecraft to a successful encounter required the pinpoint techniques learned from over 20 years of space exploration. Intercept would occur after Halley passed the Sun. A full two months before the encounter, cameras aboard the spacecraft began taking pictures and returning thousands of photos to Earth. Probing within 500 miles of the nucleus, the robot was to give us our first look at the heart of Halley's Great Comet and a glimpse back to the start of the solar system. However, as history dictates, interception was aborted. 